Okay, so um, Mr. Jown, Justin Saunders, a person that's been very much associated or attached with the whole Kanye Virgil Abloh crew, a person who I'm sure most of my readers or most of my listeners are familiar with through his uh, seminal blog spot, Jown, um, that I used to, what I used to kind of browse all the fucking time. I fucking love that site. He doesn't update as much as he probably should do nowadays, but I'm guessing, you know, he's got so much stuff that he's doing now that he probably doesn't have the time to update it. But essentially, it was like a visual mood board that he used to do. Um, that he doesn't really do that much anymore. Um, I'll show you it now on the screen so you guys can check it out. This is the John website, and essentially, it was just a list of images. And I think I remember the time. Uh, at the bottom of the of the website, he'd put a footer note, something along the lines of, oh, um, this will be a, you, you, this is going to be your best, your favorite new site or something like that, or something along those kind of lines, like really bold declaration. But after a period of time of him doing it, you kind of did recognize it. Yeah, it was the best site. Just amazing pictures sourced from all over the internet, kind of, you know, harkening back to the days, old days of, of Tumblr, but done in a really tasteful way. Um, Loads of connection between the pictures, between how he uploaded them, uh, um, similarities in colors and hues. I remember there was a time when I was talking to some of my friends that were designers or some of my friends involved in the industry. I was saying to them, you know, I'll just, if I was a designer or something, I would literally use Jound as my kind of mood board. Especially if you were doing a small collection or you were trying to check the temperature of what was currently going on, you could easily interpret loads of actual cues of what's happening in the current culture through what you see on Jound. Just amazingly tasteful images, really incredible detail. Um, I love some of the essential stuff. Some of the outfits that he put on there were fucking awesome too. Like stuff like this, you know, the collect the the combination of these jeans and these vintage vans. It's no coincidence in terms of the colors. Just great stuff. Architecture, cars, uh, product design, stuff like just the cardboard box, the colors and tones and hues. Um, office supplies, which he's always been kind of um, secretly obsessed with. Just loads of great, amazing things that you kind of like. Look at this label, extra small. Like, just amazing, amazing photography, amazing pictures, just all around, just great stuff. And sometimes you slip in the odd um, item promotion like this, right? So you can then click that and go on to stuff that he was actually selling. Just great stuff. Vintage um, um, Stan Smith's there. Look at the shape on the vintage shoe. You just can't get that nowadays with stuff now, isn't it? It's just, well, that being said, Adidas are doing quite a good job of, inst you know, making sure they put uh, vintage laughs on some of their older shoes. But again, just amazingly, uh, amazing high quality stuff from John, right? Um, I'm sure you're familiar with that. So now he's kind of, you know, he he kind of rose to prominence um, through kind of his work on there. And I think but loads of those dudes like Virgil and stuff kind of saw his work and immediately kind of reached out to him. I used to kind of talk to him through email as well back in the day. I was very much inspired what he'd done and just kind of congratulated him and told him to keep going what he was doing. And, you know, again, it's not really, I'm not, I'm I'm no one's chilly and I'm sure he knew he was smashing it anyway. But, you know, people need a bit of encouragement here and there. And I just kind of loved what he was doing. Anyway, um, so he's progressed. He's gone really far. He's had collaborations with Vans. He's done other collaborations with, I think, the Carmen the Candle Company, the collaboration with the bicycle. He's done loads of great collaborations, but now he's sort of kind of, you know, reaching, he's kind of pumped, where now every collaboration he puts out, for the exception of maybe a couple of the shoes that he's done, that have maybe the in house shoes he done with the kind of like New Balances, I don't think they sold out. I'm not sure if they did, but so far, he's done really great work. And now he's done a, he's kind of has a long, it seems like a long term partnership with Reebok, which has been really interesting. Um, again, it's a brand that isn't really in the zeitgeist at the moment. It's a brand that maybe doesn't really get the shine it probably should do it's a brand that i'm not necessarily a fan of because of the connotations i have with it with growing up in the east east end of london you know with you know scabby kids in my neighborhood wearing them it being associated with the bmp national front you know it's got a bit of a weird tint to it for me personally and only for me right so i didn't really get the obsession with reebok especially during the skating skating world where loads of brands are kind of collaborating with them and trying to wear tracksuit bottoms with i don't know it's just anyway it's a bad idea you know there's kind of pretend rude boys you know the ones i'm talking about so but John is, uh, has been able, Justin Saunders has been able to do a collaboration with Reebok and do it the right way. Do it in a way that makes me actually want to buy the shoes, which is fucking rare. And if you know me, you know I hate Reebok with all my heart. Even even though I love CrossFit and I'm a big CrossFit enthusiast, I, there's no way in hell that I'm ever going to wear a pair of Reeboks. But he's done this collaboration so well that it's actually making me consider doing it. Um, so this is an installation that he's currently doing with um, Reebok. It's a, it's a pop-up shop that he's launched. And it's it basically it's in a, it's, it's, it looks like it's outfit fitted in the same vein as our old school um sports supply um sports equipment sports supply shops if you remember back in the day like a sports um sports direct how it used to be like those kind of shelves with the kind of you know white shelves with a kind of clip on um, shelving you see put on there 
a very sterile environment, bereft of any kind of personality, but very much harkening back to the good old days, right? And he's done an entire collection. It looks like with Reebok um, in, tied in with it with merch. And then he's done another side of the, of the collaboration where it's sort of like a, a homage to the olden days. He's picked up loads of stuff, loads of vintage items that he's then selling on eBay to raise money. I think also, I think raising money. I'm not sure sure what the deal was with that. But for regards to that, the collection just looks so cool. Loads of mild grey, which is, he's obviously obsessed with. I'm sure the fit of the sweatshirt is going to be awesome. Probably going to be like 50s, 60s fit. Very boxy. No Wrangler sleeves there. Um... Again, uh, loads of nice towels, the Reebok, the Reebok trainers, obviously, uh, sweatpants done in the bright way, hoodies, uh, tote bags, hats, just really great staples that every guy can use in their wardrobe. Just amazing, amazing, amazing stuff. That's one image from the collection there, from the actual in, in, uh, interior design of the store. Then what else do we have here? We have here the actual, um, is that like the cash point, right? Where you kind of actually go and buy, purchase the things. You've got a table here. Again, just great furniture around the whole place. Um, interior design is absolutely spot on. This is the whole entire unit. Um, shop display selling all the vintage items, which I'm sure has been sourced and now is going to be sold. I have seen sold on eBay. Again, probably stuff he's picked up over the, over time. He's always been a stickler for really old vintage books, which I've also been a fan of, but you know, I usually pick my eyes up at charity shops and stuff for the most part. Um, again, just really great stuff. Look, massive fucking Xerox printing machine, harkening back to good old days again. Just great, 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 great stuff. I'm a huge fan of John and I think he's doing amazing work. I just think, again, it's a credit to him. They've been able to take a Tumblr blog to this height. Basically, he's turned himself into a consultant. He probably was a consultant in the beginning and he just essentially used the power of the internet to kind of harness his message, to broadcast it to more people and to basically, he basically used his Tumblr or his blog spot or his, um, his account. I remember he used to actually be on blog. I'm not sure if he's moved it, but he basically used it as like a business card, right? As a, as a living and breathing CV, as a living and breathing portfolio people to check out and see. And now look at where he is at now. He's, you know what I mean? He's, he's helping out with Virgil and Kanye. He's doing loads of other brand consulting work. He's, he's got an entire collection under the helm of Reebok. I love the kind of store. I love the store entry uh, sign too about the business hours, right? Uh, Monday, not sure. Tuesday, maybe. Wednesday, perhaps. Thursday, unclear. Friday, probably not. Saturday, possibly. Sunday, I don't know. Like, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Just great attention to detail. Again, stationary bits and pieces as well. I'm sure you just take... Oh, it's like an ordering sheet, I'm assuming, right? You pick it up and then you tick off the things that you want or circle the things that you want. Just great shit, man. Great stuff. Um, Really, really impressed by him. He's absolutely smashing it. Um, That's Jown's uh, pop-up shop. Um, uh, Real pop-up shop. For the Re- for the Reebok Club C eighty five. And when's that shoe shoe gonna come out? Oh, so open on April twenty seventh. So opening at the end of the week. So if I guess if you're in around, is it in Canada, right? Yes, in Quebec. So if you're in around Montreal, go and check that out because he it, that stuff would not be hanging around. 